China reluctance to lend Nigeria or lend more money to Nigeria. I believe the country is overexposed. Nigeria is seeking one billion dollars so can they can work so they can continue uh, on a gas pipeline costing up to 2.8 billion after Chinese lenders failed to disperse cash as quickly as expected. China developed cold feet as they pledged to offer most of the funds in its latest in the, it is the latest sign of falling Chinese financial support of infrastructure projects across Africa after major years of Chinese lending for railway energy and other projects. <laughs> honestly, if we're going to play these Chinese, I mean honestly, maybe, maybe that's maybe that's the way because we cannot pretend I can't be giving out money and then you don't have you no know, false intentions. Come on. You can't give out that much money, especially uh, Especially all around Africa. So, I mean, if you know the country can just spend the money, say ah, pull, you know, an income or war <laughs> on them, I guess that's fine. But then, really, that puts us, the citizens, in jeopardy because maybe that's the plan. Because now they know they can't pay it off, or now they know that they can't really dish out a lot of money. I guess they'd be reluctant to you know continue projects in Africa, and I guess that really is a good thing. A spokesman for the state oil company NNPC, which is building a 614-kilometer Ajao Kuta Kaduna Kano pipeline, said it was still negotiating with the Chinese lenders Bank of China and Senior Shore to cover $1.8 billion of the project cost. So embarrassing. There's no cause for alarm. The spokesman said uh, whether NNPC was turning to other lenders but the three sources told Reuters that the company was now approaching others including export import institutions to continue the work on pipeline that will run through the middle of west africa to its through the middle of the west african country to its um northern economic hub called kano chinese lenders had originally been lined up to fund the bulk and estimated 2.5 billion uh dollars to 2.8 billion dollars cost of the project which is central to president buhari's plan to develop gas resources and boost development in northern nigeria nnpc which was funding 15 percent said last year it had used its own funds to start construction can we see proof of this not gonna lie <laughs> the sources said the chinese lenders would not agree to disperse the cash NNPC had expected by the end of the summer. They are now looking at Nigeria as one loan, and right now they feel to expose the sources. Okay, so the Chinese feel exposed, as they should, because again, you can't again you cannot give out that much money consistently, not just in one country but in a lot of countries across Africa, and you're not going to be suspected of foul play or some you know some fishy intentions, and really. And truly, that is just really what it is. That is what it is. So, yeah, of course, you know, this just... Um, oh, my days. Well, actually, China loans only make up 10% of Nigeria's total indebted indebtedness, estimated at $32 billion by the Debt Management Agency. What is going on because really and truly, they're stealing. But then when these people come to ask for their money, the whole country, we are the ones that are going to have to pay. Every Niger- I think we did, the statistics prove that every Nigerian uh, basically owes 200,000 naira to international debtors if one are paid back. And it's just a bit like, what what is going on? Just having not uh, incompetent leaders. Um, and it's not that we can't even make this money organically as pure revenue, actually pure profit. Um we have so we have so much, especially as a country, as a as a, as a hub. Like we just have too much resources. We're just underutilizing everything. We have bad leaders. Uh, when we are not industrialized, oh my days! I think that's a the biggest the biggest problem that Nigeria has right now in terms of income, in terms of profit and revenue and sort of trading. We are not industrialized because if really if we are, I think a lot of things will change. A lot of things will change in terms of standard of living. Um, you know. Of course, government revenue, at, at least when we export, we export with power because we know that 
you know our prices or we're competing with other countries and you know in the world market and all that and it's it's so so sad it's so sad because again it's just like all this embarrassment nigeria as a country should not be going through it at all these are big 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 numbers and yeah nigerians are the ones that are gonna have to pay for it at the end of the day so they're really putting us in debt and i think this is why we need to question a lot of things and really we need to be intentional about who we put in government um asking them these questions especially when it comes to the presidential debate and all that because it's it's really really sad because basically we might not i mean we are chilling right now but in our future generations are the ones that are gonna have to pay this and they will then have resentment for their ancestors for putting them in this condition imagine and that I, and again no one no one should want that um and uh, it's so sad it is so sad but again if china is feeling bad and feeling you know people go very exposed about their investments like that is i honestly i'm not i'm not too um not too fussed about that because um i'm not saying that i'm not saying that they cannot be trusted but um you cannot you cannot you cannot absolutely not give up billions of dollars over a period of time over a long period of time for several african countries while you're focusing on these countries or third world countries in which you know that they may not be able to pay the the debt back what are you looking for what do you want to find did we ask you to come but then again it's like if our leaders agree the ones that we take to represent us if they're bringing in or allowing foreigners to come in and just do the most then who can we really blame who can we really blame again there has to be consent in these things not gonna lie uh someone else says that's a good development china should stop borrowing money to this group of thieves who call themselves leaders because we're not seeing any tangible development to account for all the what they've borrowed so far i think it's a trap and they're all falling for it that's just what it is it's obviously a trap um i think china is china makes a hell of money and um, anyway not that the standard of living there is like perfect but technically with with how industrialized they are there, there should be no suffering there should be nothing but this is not to be this, this is not to be the case and um Again, what do you, what what do you see? Birds of the same feather, they flock together. Look at look at China. I mean, you cannot again. They will go to their you know younger ones in terms of you know, the corruption ranks to train them even more. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, no one no one really trusts China at this point. Um, we have bad leaders who may have inferiority complex. I mean, how? I mean, look at Buhari for example. Oh my days. Look at Buhari. I mean, imagine we're talking in world, on the world stage or in world meetings, and and you see somebody like Buhari trying to negotiate for Nigeria. I mean, how would that look? They would just they would just bamboozle the man, and the man would just agree to anything. You know what I mean? Our representatives are so bad, and it's such a poor reflection of the Nigerian society. Ugh, put what you think about this, and don't forget to like and subscribe.